Hey, what's going on, you guys? Hey, I'm here showing off my arcade, main arcade, and basically just see how to build one for under three hundred dollars. All right, first of all, easiest way is unless you want it brand spanking you. I'm talking about brand spanking you. The, uh, the cabinet, it's going to cost you. My suggestion is to buy a pre, uh, an old arcade. Uh, this one's the original. Uh, Final Fight arcade cabinet. It was it was garbage. I'm talking about it was complete garbage when I got it. Cigarette butts, cockroaches, you name it. Nothing worked on it. Got it for twenty dollars, literally twenty bucks. Okay. So basically gutted it out, um, and basically everything from new. Redid uh, the holes and the buttons. This is metal. Unless you guys don't know about the original arcade cabinets, they don't come with like you see in some main cabinets. This is straight metal and if you want the metal one you need to you basically get an original cabinet that had a pre-existing game on it all right so anyway <clears throat> order the buttons blah 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 so, so, uh, do your research if you want to build an arcade i'm showing you guys how to put pretty much a jukebox system into your arcade and basically you can use none but just the joysticks it is extremely hard to find a good software all right not anymore one of my favorite for my Apple TV and my computer pretty much to organize all my music and movies and pictures. Um, XBMC, pretty much. XBMC is the shit. Problem with XBMC, it doesn't really work well with your joystick. Solution. There is a program called Joy2Key. Look for it, Google it, all right? Download it, easy, easy to use, all right? Once you've got that, program the buttons, which you need to do. See, there goes that one program I'm telling you, Joy to Key. I, I pretty much set it up so uh, as soon as I enter the XBMC software, uh, it launches automatically that program. I don't want it open all the time because I don't want this to mess with my computer. All right, so basically you get that. Let's listen to some music here. All right, I uh, basically program my key, enter, uh, back, and escape. That's all you really need. And of course, the directional keys up, down, left, right, all that kind of garbage. Anyway, let's check it out. Go to music. I really have a lot in here because I'm still updating my de my hard drive. Let's just put something here. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh wait, I went back. My bad. See? That's it. That's it. Use that. Just using none but the joysticks and button. That's basically what a lot of people want. They don't want crazy ass stuff so you can touch screen and all that stuff. They just want simple stuff. So they like you can control all the directions here. Oh yeah. Basically I want it to stop. I want it to start up again. Ah shit, I wanna put graphics on there. Look at that. You could just leave it. And basically, there's your party machine right there. This thing's hooked up with a thousand watt pioneer sound system at the bottom surround sounds all around the damn room so I mean like more much more than you want you know so you guys got questions go ahead and leave comments if you want oh, I gotta press escape my bad there you go I mean I'm not gonna teach you how to build a main arcade and I'm not gonna teach you how to put the system I'm telling you, all you need to get is uh, uh, the front front end I'm using as Maximus Arcade, the latest version. I think it's version 10. I think I'm not sure. Uh, a lot of people like using Hyperspin. The problem with Hyperspin is that it, it limits you. It limits you a lot on how many how much stuff your buttons can do. And I need things to like I smash all my buttons. It shuts down the computer. Uh, press those two buttons. It gets out of the emulator. Uh, stuff like that. I need stuff to do like that. I know Hyperstream you can do some of that stuff, but it, I don't know. It, it's too. It's a pain in the ass. And basically, Maxim Arcade works almost seamlessly with almost any emulator, any program you need, and that's basically why I'm using it. All right. Once again, uh, the jukebox. Uh, I'm using XBMC. And to do the key configurations, I'm using a program called Joy2Key. All right, Joy2Key. 
All right, man. Well, this is it. This is the end of my video. I don't want to make this video too damn long because then later on, you guys are gonna pretty much put it sucks and fuck you guys wherever put it sucks. Hey, I'm just trying to help uh, my fellow mame. Uh, what do you call it, gamer? All right, all right now. Oh wait, wait. Next video, I'm gonna show how to build and from scratch using a badass toy gun. All right. There's another thing. Light guns are hard to find for mame arcades, and I know when you do find them, the only ones like are pretty good as like aim track and <clears throat> like a gun coat gun but you know what i want something with recoil so i'm gonna get a toy gun that i found i don't have it here i have it in storage i'm gonna get a toy gun that i found looks awesome painted in black looks like a real fucking m16 and i'm gonna put all the uh, uh what do you call it uh uh light gun electronics in it and it's gonna look tight so look for that next video all right man peace out